This may look like a garage filled with old cars, but don't be fooled. Much of this is newer than you think. I'm here at Hot Rods and Hobbies, where they restore classic cars, or they can make an entirely new classic. This 1957 Chevy, body, engine, chassis, all new. Scott Banowski owns the company and helps design these. Resto Mods. A Resto Mod is a car that comes in looking stock, a 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s base car. Um, you take out all the old, but you maintain the style of the old car. The result? You get everything out of this. You get the looks of the old car, you get the drivability of the new modern car. Around the work floor, the cars vary widely. A 1974 Ferrari Dino, a 41 Ford pickup, and a 1964 Jaguar. But the shop has become known for its work on cars that use surprisingly little metal. And the reason for the Woody is they, were, they ran out of metal during war, so they, well, let's build them out of wood. They're entirely made out of wood except for the floor pans and the cowl section. The front end's all steel, but the entire back of the car, including the roof and quarter panels, is all wood. These late 1930s Ford Woodies come filled with parts that are 70 years newer, like modern engines, disc brakes, a new suspension, even a modern sound system. Of course, for classic car purists, resto mods like this might seem sacrilege. Banowski says the cars he's rebuilding leave with a lot more value than they have when they came in. You certainly wouldn't want to take a specialty car that has matching numbers, big block, with air conditioning options on a 67 RS Camaro or SS Camaro or something like that and cut it up and butcher it. So you want to be a little choosy on the car you decide to modify. And if you want your own custom hot rod, you better be patient. Depending on the complexity of the job, it can take months to years. And that's once you get off the 18-month waiting list. Also, you better have deep pockets. You're going to start at about 20 to 25,000 for a complete paint job. When you get into a full build, depending on the components you put in the car, you're going to start at about 175 and go up. Perhaps that's an acceptable price to pay for a car collector hoping to drive off with a 1940s Chrysler Town & Country Woody powered by a modern Hemi V8 engine. For USA Today, I'm Chris Wigard.